this part on, on my right was the part that was sticking above the ground when, when I made the discovery. And I recognized immediately that we're looking at a large footprint of a, an armored dinosaur, a notosaur. And uh, it was not until we excavated the dirt out of the back of it that we realized a baby dinosaur had stepped in it. And a lot of other activity was going on. We're looking at the largest known slab that has mammal tracks on it from anywhere in the world. I know of about four or five sites in the whole age of dinosaurs that have mammal tracks and some of them only have one or two and here we've got approximately a hundred footprints on it. It's amazing. Well this this whole area here is very very interesting because we have these nice five-toed tracks. There's actually a pair here, so we have a, a left and a right. And as mammals, we have five fingers and five toes. And so these are our Cretaceous ancestors, you might say. For a comparison, you could look at this track. It has three toes, and that is just typical of a modern bird or the ancestor of a modern bird, which was a small theropod dinosaur. This one here is very small. It's the size of a squirrel track and has its toes going in this direction. I find this very exciting because of the kind of details we can see and see how sharp these claws were. What's special about this track is that it is the largest mammal track on this surface. And indeed, it's the largest mammal track known from the age of dinosaurs. During the age of dinosaurs, we've traditionally regarded most mammals is the size of rodents, rats and squirrels and so forth. It's very rare to find anything that this big. I mean, this was an animal that was maybe the size of a badger. This is a big animal by mammal standards from the age of dinosaurs. Well, what excites me about this, this slab found at Goddard Space Flight Center is that this shows us the actual life and action of all this incredible diversity from the flying reptiles to the large dinosaurs, to the very small or tiniest, perhaps, dinosaurs, and, and uh, three, four, five types of mammals. In fact, it shows us not the dead, but life. It's almost like a time machine. We can look across, I would guess, maybe two uh, weeks of activity of animals, and we can almost picture it. Unlike if we were just looking at bones, we see the interaction, how they pass in relationship to one another. So what we have here from, from Goddard is looking deeply into ancient time on the earth. And I think it's just tremendously exciting.